Welcome, welcome to the channel's Minecraft Let's Play series. Where are we? <laughs> oh, no way. Well, Ocean Monument right beside Spawn. I see a small island off that way. We have no trees. <laughs> Wilson! Alright, moving on, moving on. So as I was saying, welcome to the Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, this is going to be episode one of hopefully a long, long series of episodes that we are going to share with you guys. And by we, I mean me, and by me, I mean Bencho. Um, I have a strong affinity for playing the game of Minecraft. I really do enjoy it. And I was talking to Nicholas earlier in the week, and I was saying, Nicholas, I want to put the Minecraft on to the channel. And, you know, he said it was a good idea, and, you know, this is me moving forward with it. I've played several worlds before. My very first one, like, you build, like, a square house, and you're like, oh, this is amazing. And then, like, two weeks later, you're like, this is ugly. Why did I do this? Or you die in, like, a terrible cave location, and you're... And it's not very good. So what I have done is played New World and got a little bit better and played a New World and got a little bit better and played a New World and got a little bit better to the point where in my last world I had built like a village trading hall. I had a villager breeder. I had, oh boy, oh I had a gigantic wheat farm. Um automatic chicken cookers, etc, etc, and I felt like I was getting really good at the game, and then I started taking some time off, and for whatever reason I didn't get back into it, and during the week I said, listen Nichols, I want to start playing some more Minecraft, I want to start a new world, can we put it on the channel as a Let's Play series, and we said sure, and so in this world that we're currently playing in, I don't have a name for the world yet, Aside from Ben Show's Let's Play. <laughs> we are going to be playing for quite a long time. Uh, hopefully, you know, upwards of, you know, four, five hundred episodes. Um, I am going to be building my base underground, which I've never really uh, gone for an underground base. I've kind of built like a castle-y type thing once. That was really just a bunch of flat walls with no detail, so... Let's all shame you for that. <laughs> but I didn't know better. So. And this time, I, I do want to spend more time underground building a base. Uh, more time working on getting better at Redstone. In the last world, I was working on some cool stuff. And I feel like I definitely got better at it and... It's something that I, I definitely want to continue with. I'm not necessarily the best at redstone, and like if you if you're expecting to see a, like a computer or something, you know, this is definitely not that. Um, and you know, honest to God, it's probably never going to be that. I don't really have much of a desire to have any of that kind of stuff being built, uh, but it is nifty to look at. So <laughs> if you want to check it out? Hop on Reddit, and I'm sure someone will direct you over. Um, so in the first episode here, um, it's just going to be trying to find a suitable starter location. My island is like there, where my very where the natural spawn point is. Um, so I'm going to kind of try to stay within the area for the most part. Uh, I don't want to get too carried away trying to find a location um, because we're right beside the ocean monument, which is really nice. That is. It's really dark stuff down there. It's some dark water. I think we see I see a good place to start. Um, I want to say like relatively close because then I'll like build a tunnel under the water out to a guardian farm which is really real cool. Uh, I've never built a guardian farm. I have a rough idea of how to do it and how it all works. Uh, it's a rather massive undertaking so it's something that once we definitely get a little bit more established and definitely get a bunch of more resources uh, put together we will make an attempt at this is this is quite promising. Okay, let's drop our crafting bench here. The most we will get over there. Awesome. Let's pick up some of these. Four. Awesome. 
crossing. Drop this cross. So, the first thing that is important in for me when I start off a game is can I make it through the first day or so without you know starting dying any of this stuff the lighting is very very dark so I do apologize I'm gonna quickly try to find some coal on the surface so I can make some torches light that area up and see if we're gonna stay here for a long period of time because uh, the cave systems um, all back into one another not all but Oh, that's the hole that we go down. Oh, we found a potential candidate for grabbing some coal. So coal is really important. <laughs> Obvious. You need torches. And there it doesn't look like there's any, so we're going to keep going. Um... I'm trying to avoid hopping too deep into a cave because I don't have food, weapons, or armor. Uh, so, if I get down there and I die on the very first episode, it's going to be kind of, kind of embarrassing. So, I'm also not used to this auto block hop. So, I'm continually pressing space and the game's automatically doing it for me, which is kind of strange. Definitely something that I'm going to have to get used to. Uh, another one with no coal right out the gate. That's really unfortunate. Uh, so my voice is a little hoarse at the moment because I did run some testing again this morning to ensure that the software is all good. Um, and I ended up doing some work on the phone. And I talked a little bit more than I had originally intended. So uh, that's a little interesting note. If anybody wants to make that. <laughs> Potentially no one. Potentially no one. Sad panda. Okay, so uh, we're doing a little bit more exploring than I hoped. Oh, but the finding the dogs is nice. And knowing that we got a bunch of cows, also good. Uh, looks like there's some coal right there, so I'm going to go over and grab that. I think. Actually, no. We'll head back. Um, so the first thing that I'm probably going to be building is a wheat farm, uh, just for the fact that it's incredibly simple. Um, it's probably not going to be automated, it'll literally just be me planting a bunch of wheat um, in an organized fashion. And I need that for a couple of important reasons. A, I need the bread, and there's, there's coal here. There are zero resources on the surface here. I feel like I'm playing a hard mode or some shit. Where <laughs> being resource starving. Now I'm kind of going to run into the problem where I don't know the map too well just yet. And I don't know how to get home. But I found pumpkins. And that's awesome. That's actually like super important. There's a whole bunch of them. So that's a plus. That's really nice to know. And we'll definitely be making use of pumpkins. And some of our builds. Alright, we're just going to grab this. Yeah, I think it is for the pick or whatever. Literally a nugget of coal. Wow, that sucks. Uh, I can't even craft WTB some skills. Okay, now after that long extended let's go find some coal, we are going to make our way home. Quote unquote, to our hole. But. Since I've walked around for so friggin' much, I am now running out of food. Um, so, that poses a new problem for me. And one that hopefully I can solve really fast. Uh, this is not good. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm going to have to slaughter some sheep. Poor sheep. Oh, I didn't even have to climb up all of that stuff. Oh, blob. 
it's a problem when you take some time off the game and then you also start a new world you have zero rhythm skills so we're here and we have a sheep awesome Ugh. two okay Ugh. Thanks, Creeper. Kinda not helpful. Okay, so I don't really know how deep this goes, but we're gonna have to grab another one of these. And I gotta quickly grab enough to make a furnace. Uh, it's nighttime now. Uh, and I've kind of wasted the first day, unfortunately. Uh, so it's going to be a little harder to get stuff done. Alright, so hopefully we can live here for now. Um, we're going to quickly make the furnace. Excellent. Gotta grab some more coal. Make up the two steaks we have, eat them, try to kill this guy. Excellent. So we're up to five cooked mutton shops. Really just trying to pack on some extra insurance and making sure that we make it through the first night. The first night is always definitely the hardest, I think, because when you start a new world, no resources, and you can't just like pop open one of your chests and be like, oh, well, you know, I forgot that I had all this food here, so going to eat all of it. <laughs> uh, so I don't think we're going to be staying in this location too, too long. Um, I'm going to mine up this coal. I really wish I saw this earlier. Maybe I'll have to play with some... Oh wow, there's actually quite a bit down here. Play with the brightness settings so I can kind of see something when I don't have the torches. And then we'll move on from there. Uh, once I light stuff up, it'll be okay. So, let's check where we are on the timer. So I'm going to make these videos about 20 minutes long. Um, I don't know where my recording stamina is, quote-unquote, if I have any recording stamina. <laughs> And I don't really know uh, the... Ooh, wow. Maybe we are not leaving here. Okay, there is definitely, definitely a colossal ravine in this location. So we're going to certainly spend some more time in here due to the largeness of this base. Um, and we got some iron, that's fantastic. Oh wow, this place is uh, su substantially larger than I expected it to be. Which is nice. We found some iron, which is even better. That means we can get some iron tools. And that means we can also get our little farming area started because we can get the buckets of water and get the soil hydrated and then once the soil is hydrated then you know obviously <laughs> crops are going to be growing so we have what 10 of these twelve iron blocks three so this is nice uh... twelve iron which is good I tried to grab that arrow, but apparently 
no go. So interesting. It's still definitely dark outside, and that means the hostile mobs are going to be all up in our shit. Um, I'm going to keep the sheep because uh, I want to get some animal husbandry going, and I'm alright on the food. So what we're going to do is back here. I'm going to build another furnace. Uh, how much? Right, we need to find a little bit. Um, I'm going to build a furnace back here. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. Oh boy. No ladders, nothing right now, so <laughs> it would be a long, long, long drop down. Uh, drop another crafting table. You know, we're always going to be using these. So having an extra one doesn't actually hurt us. Alright, that's good. Uh, crafting table. Make one of these things. Grab this. Make that. Cobble. Oops. Got this. Place this is like a two or dealy. Uh, we can make some more torches. Three. We'll pop this here. Crafting bench. What we'll do is make our very first chest. Voila. So, uh, just drop the stuff off. Dirt. Okay. Clean up a chop. I'm going to use this pickup, and then we're going to switch over to an iron tool. Probably just throw the wood one back into, uh, That's so impossibly large. It's a really good find for us. Um, so I think now, scrapping what I said earlier, we are going to spend the majority of our time here in this giant cave system. Um, because if that there exists, there's going to be plenty of spin-off space. And if that's the case, then I most certainly want to be taking advantage of that. Uh, so we got a whole lot of dirt here. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing, I think, is mining this stuff out. Let's get some torches down to see better. Uh, we're going to make areas for growing crops. Um, since it's not going to be automated to the start, I'm going to clean all of this up. And make like 8x8s. Eight eight. uh, what I mean by that, it's going to be like water, dirt, And then we're going to put another row here with another bucket of water. We'll do that a couple times just for the first little bit, and then we'll rip it out and make a more efficient wheat farm. Uh, something with like an auto harvest uh, water trench to funnel everything into a central collection facility. Oh, the other thing <laughs> that I wanted to do while I'm... Oh, boy, we broke the pick. Okay, let's go grab the stuff, fresh stuff. One thing that I wanted to do while I was getting better at this is get better at speaking. I, I find that while I have good ideas and, you know, generally... 
well thought out. <laughs> See, this is the problem. Well thought out, well. You know, I want to say I don't want to say intention, but well posed a plans of action. I I don't really speak well enough to. All right, lost my train of thought. <laughs> I want to work on my pokes being is essentially the gist of the of the topic. And but we need seeds, right? Seeds, okay. And you know, I find that I need to like I want to speak better, and you know, this is an opportunity for me to talk about one topic and explain why I'm doing it and get good at explaining things because sometimes like, uh, I want to talk oh there we are so guys I really do appreciate the views for the video and I really do appreciate you guys bearing with us as we start our YouTube journey and start our you know I don't, even know, I don't even know what to say. I'm just really appreciative of the fact that people do watch our stuff and that they enjoy watching it. Uh, so when we come back next time, uh, we're going to continue building this. Um, I might have it already all peeled back by the time it starts. And we'll have some crops grown. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. Enjoy and take care.